Hi guys, welcome. I'm Sim UK, and this is a review for Snow Fortress. It's a game that was sent to me last year, but it actually came out in uh, 2016, December 16th, 2016. It's been out for quite a while then. It's 11.39 on Steam at the moment, but if you look around the internet, you can find it for quite a bit less than that, like 50-60% less. So I certainly recommend that you have a look around. Now, this game is absolutely brilliant. I bought my VR device a good three years ago now, and I bought it with the intention of having the whole family play and enjoy it. Unfortunately, that didn't really work out because originally it was up here in my office slash bedroom slash gym slash anything else that you want to add to that list, and there really wasn't enough room, so it was quite difficult to allow people to come and play. I mean, everybody did, but only briefly and not very often. Now that I have a dedicated VR device downstairs, everybody can play. Friends, family, you know, kids, everybody can play. It's not a problem. It's really quick and simple. There's lots of space. We can all move around and play. It's great. And at Christmas, you want to play Christmassy kind of games. And there aren't really that many about. This is brilliant. Over the snowman hiding in his fort. You unlock the Snow Fortress is your basic snow fight, uh, but, you know, in a VR system, so it's a bit more elaborate. You have these large blocks that you can build um, wonderful structures out of, and you can really get quite elaborate with them if you so wish. But mostly you just need to build yourself something that you can hide behind and lean around in order to attack. You've, uh, you've got to get the snowmen. The snowmen are your opponents, effectively. They're not very active. They're very accurate. They will hit you with a snowball 15 times out of 15 if you're uh, not in cover. But um, they don't really do very much. They're quite easy to beat. Um, they will occasionally move from left to right, but on the most part, they just stand still and get hit by your snowballs if, if you can get a couple of accurate shots on them, which is not as easy as it sounds. So you get these blocks. Some of them are made out of snow, some of them are made out of ice. The only real issue that I've noticed, uh, or rather rule that you have to adhere to, is that ice upon ice will slide off. So you need to go snow, ice, snow, ice, snow, ice. Basically, is how it works. Snow is easier to destroy than ice, and ice is also see-through. So ice is really the best defense that you've got against your enemies. As I say, you can build really quite elaborate uh, defense structures if you so wish. You have single blocks, double blocks, uh, four long single blocks. You've got um, big eight square blocks, both of ice and of snow. And uh, you've got a whole bunch of like Tetrisy type shape blocks as well. So you can really start to build some pretty interesting structures if you so wish. One of the biggest problems with this game, and it's quite frustrating because most games, most modern games in VR have figured out that this is something that needs to be addressed um, you cannot change the camera view in this game at all at least i can't on my oculus rift i don't know if maybe it works on, on the vive but um certainly i can't change the camera so you have to set your cam your position way forward than you normally do because you need to step back it's a it's a bit broken in that sense Another part of the game that I don't really like that much is uh, if you lose your catapult, you get a catapult in the game. It Over time, it breaks, so you've only got so many shots. Once it's broken, you have to throw snowballs with your arm. Now, the throwing mechanics in this game are awful. I think they've deliberately made it so that you have to throw gently, I guess because they don't want people smashing their controllers or their telly or whatever. 
But in doing so, they've made it really difficult to get any kind of accuracy whatsoever. So I don't like the throwing mechanics in this. Now, most of the time, that doesn't matter because you have these sort of secret special bonus boxes that if you smash those, you can repair your um, tools, you can get new tools, um, you can also get health, you've got three health um, hearts. If you get hit three times, you lose, so you can gain some of those back. Uh, and you can also have a shield. Now, to be honest with you, the shield I, I find completely useless. If you're, if you're throwing snowballs with the shield, yes, okay, that kind of works, but I would 100% take the catapult over the shield every single time, never a question. So if they just gave you the option of picking which tool you wanted, I think that would work better, but they don't. So if you lose your catapult, you're throwing. And if you're throwing, the only other tool you seem to be able to get is either the shield or the spray gun. The spray gun repairs your blocks. Again, a bit of a pointless exercise because, you know, you're throwing. If you're, if you're wasting your time trying to repair your blocks when you should be throwing at your enemy, they're small issues, and that is the only issue with this game. It looks good, it plays good, it's fun. Adults, children, everybody can play. Those who are new to VR, it's very intuitive. Obviously, if you've got a device that has a cable on it, the camera issue is going to be a bit of a concern. But on the most part, this is a really, really, really good family-friendly, festive game that I highly recommend. Now, like I say, 10... What is it at the moment? £10? £11.39, so just over £10. It really is a good game, and uh, everybody can enjoy it. it it's um, definitely recommended. I just wish the devs would come back and just adjust those. If they just changed one thing, the one thing that is the biggest problem is not being able to reset the camera to where I want it. That's the only issue I really have with this game. Other than that, this is spot on. It's a lot of fun. It's a good giggle. But yeah, really good, really good experience. Apparently, I've just seen, I've literally just seen that there's a, a cannon. So there's a cannon you can get, and uh, yeah, the, the survival mode looks really good. And multiplayer would be fantastic if only I could find people online. Unfortunately, this game has almost nobody online, which is a real travesty. Best bet would be if you and a friend both have VR devices, then you both buy the game and then you play each other. It's a lot of fun. It really is a giggle, which is awesome. There's also the ability to have uh, survival mode, which is uh, snowmen attacking you relentlessly. I, I like it. I, it's there's very little not to like about this game. It, uh, it it should be on everybody's wish list for VR at Christmas. It's such a good game to have. I love it. Really, really good. 